I'm Paul Hubel. The COVID-19 pandemic has killed people all over the world. Health experts are desperately trying to learn the secrets of this deadly virus. Suddenly, what happened behind this locked and sealed Chicago apartment door on July 27th of 2017 is suddenly relevant to learning the secrets of the COVID-19 virus. One of the undisputed world's leading immunologists, Dr. Wyndham Latham, may hold the key that may unlock the mysteries of this disease now threatening all of us. Will Dr. Latham be able to put his vast knowledge to work? There's absolutely no doubt that he is needed. What happened behind this door in this upscale apartment rocked the medical research community as well as the entire city. Dr. Wyndham Latham, 44, was quietly living here with his lover Trenton Cornell, 26, a licensed cosmetologist. Apparently, according to police, Latham met another gay man on the internet, Andrew Warren, then 56, who worked as a payroll clerk at the Oxford University in the UK. The two exchanged sexually charged emails. Police say Latham and Warren wanted to meet and engage in sexual activity with the Cornell lad. Latham had purchased a plane ticket for Warren and arranged for his lodging at a nearby hotel. On that fateful July day two years ago, young Trenton Cornell was viciously stabbed to death. He suffered nearly 50 stab wounds. Only Warren and Latham were there, and only they know what really happened. We do know that Latham and Warren immediately fled the scene. Some people believe that Warren was in fact the killer and intimidated the more docile Latham by his obvious violence. Latham also deliberately left his passport behind for police to find. Police also found a common drywall knife they believe was the murder weapon. The pair then traveled west, but during their flight, Latham was obviously disturbed by what happened. Latham stopped along the way, donated money in his now dead young lover's name. Latham also expressed shame and sorrow for what happened to various friends and family. That, however, does not amount to a confession. Eventually, this part of the story ended in San Francisco, where both men surrendered to authorities. The evidence against Latham was seriously lacking, so prosecutors struck a plea deal with Warren that gave him a reduced prison term with the likelihood that he could serve his time in a UK rather than Illinois prison. All Warren has to do now is accuse Latham of killing his lover right here in a Chicago courtroom. The UK criminal court records, including convictions, are not publicly accessible. Records if Warren has a criminal past or is a sex offender, unfortunately, he's protected by strict UK privacy laws. I have learned that in the months preceding Trenton Cornell's murder, no less than a half a dozen young men were likewise stabbed to death in the immediate Farmington, UK area where Andrew Warren and his own lover had lived. Additionally, Nearby Farmington, a five-year-old boy was also stabbed to death. I believe that his own mother may have been wrongfully accused of that crime. Local UK police authorities eventually formed a task force to, survive, to solve these troubling murders. However, apparently Chicago police and the UK task force have still never communicated. Serial killers are indeed rare. The likelihood of having two unrelated serial killers in the same place is against all odds. My bet is Warren's DNA may be what it takes to solve these cases. I really want to travel to the UK and do some serious interviews. There are so many questions that demand answers. 
Now it begs that the instant burning question should be, should Dr. Latham be released on bail with an ankle monitor? Should this undisputed expert in infectious diseases be put to work to save untold lives? Additionally, Dr. Latham suffers from underlying health problems that could make COVID-19 especially dangerous for him. The Cook County Jail where Latham is housed is currently a serious hotbed for the virus. I contacted Latham's attorney, Adam Shepard. However, he politely declined to comment, deferring to a court-imposed gag order. That question of bail for Latham is expected to be revisited in a courtroom in this building behind me. We will find out what happens, and you can count on me to keep you posted. Again, I'm Paul Hubel. Thank you for watching.